John Brown was an abolitionist born in Connecticut but raised in Ohio. While there, John became great friends with a slave. One day, Brown witnessed his friend being beaten by his owner with a shovel. From then on, Brown hated the idea of slavery. Later in life, Brown came up with the idea of having a slave revolt. To do so, Brown would need to raid a federal arsenal to get the weapons to give to slaves. On paper, his plan would work. Get rid of the guards. Walk in with his army of 20 or so people and get as many weapons as possible. His plan, however, did not go over so well. When he got to Harper's Ferry, the arsenal, it was him plus 22 of his men, three of which were his sons. As they were escaping the arsenal with weapons, they were seen by a passing train. They eventually made it to a town, and word of the raid had gotten out. And Brown was surrounded on October 17th by U.S. Marines. Led by Ro General Robert E. Lee, the Marines overran Brown on the morning of October 19th. Finally, abolitionist John Brown went to the gallows on December 2nd after being tried for treason and murder. His final words were on a slip of paper that held a very prophetic statement. I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away but, but with blood. The raid had failed, but John Brown had a major part in the starting thoughts of a civil war over slavery. This video project is by Andrew Finley, Brogan Richards, and Noah Gavin.